Welcome to Tips and Tricks with Curve 4. This is Pat Harold of Chromix with some ideas for how you can make the most of your Curve 4 software. A lot of people want to know, how do I install new references? I used to put them in a color standards folder in Curve 3. That doesn't work now. Let's take a look at the new references area. You will find that a lot of the more common standards in use today are available here under Characterized Reference Print Condition. All the CRPCs, XCMYK, and then some legacy references as well. I've also added a handful of my own custom reference files. I'll show you how that works a little later. But the basic process is to click the plus button to create a new reference preset. And notice there are a lot of new options too, so you have to do more than just pick a reference. You have to decide what level of compliance you want. I'll choose Targeted, and then I can choose which CRPC this is going to be compared to. Premium Uncoded. Some standards have tighter tolerances when used for proofing than they do for regular production work. Native CMYK will adjust the darker tones to aim for the 300% CMY color that is present in the target rather than a true neutral CMY. This is really only for some low quality printers that aren't actually capable of printing a neutral CMY. SCCA makes it so that the color aims are relative to the white of your measured chart rather than the white of like CRPC3. More information is available on page 112 of the Curve 4 guide. But I'll leave those off for now. At this point, you have a new reference set, but you should change it to something more descriptive. CRPC3 G7 Targeted Production. Now this shows up now when you pull down this reference pop-up. Now the next question you're going to ask is how do I get my own custom references in here? In order to be used as a color aim, your custom data needs to at least pass G7 grayscale. In order to pass G7 grayscale, your file needs to have the P2P gray ramps and ideally your data would be in the form of a TC1617 chart, but you can also use a P2P target, or I have here a file that just contains the solids, the overprints, and the gray ramps. If you don't have all the patches for color space, this might be okay for you. You might just want to get the solids in as a color aim. You can use this file as a template, and then just replace the lab values for the solids and overprints and white and black, and bring this into verify. The grayscale part needs to pass for you to be able to save as targeted color aim. When you go to save it, it will open up a standard place to put it, the custom color aims folder here, custom color aim for Pat. Now this will be available when you go into references. If something doesn't show up here where you expect, you might be on the wrong G7 option. When I click on grayscale, you see different color aims show up. Now, here's a little bonus for those who have watched this video to the bitter end. Curve 4 accepts profiles themselves now as inputs. For any of these modules, you can drag and drop a profile into the measurements area. So if you drag the Fogra 39 profile into the measurements area, the software will automatically extract all the data points it needs to pass grayscale, targeted, and color space. Assuming you have the right reference in place. From there, you can easily save this as a color aim and it will be available in your references. See, it's even easier than it was in Curve 3. You can also find similar instructions in Appendix C in the Curve 4 guide. Check out page 114. Thanks for watching.